remember how much we loved Christmases as children, and now as parents, we get to live it all over again with our own children. Over and over, creating over, memories. And no yes. matter how old they are, one of our traditions was when our girls were little, uh, one morning they came down for uh, Christmas morning, and I always would put um, the TV on, on Channel 5. There's a local station out here. It's, it's KTTV. KTLA. Uh, KTLA. KTLA yeah. And they have this Yule log. And it's on a, you know, uh. you just put it on the TV and it's fireplaces. And when the kids were little and they were four, I would have the real fire on, but they would come out and they go, wow, look at that yeah. fire. So every year, no matter how old they got, they would come down in the morning and they would warm their hands by the by Yule log <laughs> on, on the, the TV. And I just think that's so cute. <laughs> and so I look forward to it every year. You're, they're in their mid 20s now and they still go they down still if i don't have that you log on and i missed it once one year and it was disaster they well, that's why the yeah, traditions this tradition they, year in and they year love out. the you log yeah. yeah and what about your traditions uh, we uh, started a tradition where we wanted to keep those idle hands busy on christmas eve so we we did two things we made a uh, we made uh, baby jesus a birthday cake but we oh. also would make pizzas and it would just keep, they'd love to decorate and put all their stuff on. So um, actually, a video. this is when they're very small. We've been doing this ever since. But this is Christmas many, many years ago with Kai and Avery. Take a look. All right, boys. What are we doing, guys? Making pizzas. Why are we making pizzas? Because it's Christmas. Avery, who comes tonight? Santa Claus. Yes. And what does he bring? Presents. For who? For me and Avery and everyone in the world. Does he bring presents to good boys or bad boys? To good boys. All right. Oh, oh my gosh, this is the I, cutest thing. All I can think of is cleaning up after all that flour and stuff. It's like, no, oh my gosh. Just what you need. Uh, yeah. And then they're up at Odon 30 for presents the next morning when Santa oh, comes. That's you know, so sweet. It's so sweet. important, though, to maintain those holiday traditions. And we, we have. We continue to do the pizzas year in and year out. And now they clean up their own mess, which yeah, is really, this really is good. good. The Hallmark, by the way, uh, we celebrate here at Hallmark Channel. And by the Hallmark Channel has released um, new original movies every single year. And uh, they're just perfect for the entire family, especially this weekend, or the premiere, rather, of this weekend of uh, the North, North Pole, Pole yeah. which is, looks spectacular. My, I, I can't wait to sit with the boys and, and watch. Well, you know, Bailey Madison and Max Charles were here just a couple weeks ago. And we actually have a clip right now from the no. North Pole, and it features them. So let's take a look at that. Hey. Daddy. Clementine? I lost contact last night. The northern lights are freaking. We gotta talk right away. I don't think I'm supposed to talk to you. My mom says you're the product of an overactive imagination. Your imagination's fine. It's your mom's and a lot of other people's underactive imaginations that are the problem. I mean, where's the joy? Where's the happiness? Good question. <laughs> That's right. I love that. You know, you can keep that uh, magic alive when you see the movies and you see some of the stuff that they're using in the in the movies. This little one here, this is the communicator. We just saw Max yeah. using this when Bailey uh, talking on it. Special communicator. Now your child can also stay connected to the North Pole all season <laughs> long with this North Pole communicator interactive microphone. All you have to do is turn the little dial here. Now listen, you ready? Oh. Hello, this is Clementine Bell, one of the North Pole elves. We can't talk right now, but check back on December 1st. Isn't that Aww. perfect? So you it's can perfect. communicate with Santa as the days get closer. Right. You can talk with other friends at the North Pole. I, I love it. I love yeah. it. And then we get Bailey Matheson on the phone. No, I'm kidding. Okay, all right. Bailey, Bailey are, you but, there? are you there? Are you there? But what I also love, because you know I love to cook and I love mm -hmm. baking and all. You I, do? I yes, didn't know this, that about you. <laughs> this is Bake Like an Elf right here. This is a kit. It's a baking kit for kids with real cookie recipes in it and measuring tools. I love these measuring tools. They're shaped like a mitten. There's a little mitten right here. Look how cute that is. I almost want to sip eggnog out of that. I know. And then right? this, yeah, this is a little elf shoe. This is a little, fit, well, it's a little too big for elf on the shelf. But anyway, this is a little um, shoe. And then we also have a little jingle bell right here, which you could use as a measuring a spoon. And, and, and like I said, they are all the cute little um, uh, menus Wonderful. that you could get for your cookies. Wonderful. All these North Pole gifts seen here can be purchased local at your local Hallmark Girl Crown store, or you can um, just go to hallmark.com. Uh, and they're all there. There's so many 
wonderful ones. Have Ooh, a cookie. Did you and make these? Yes, I did. Uh, with my little, uh, uh, my little, my a little, little kit over here. That, yes, and don't forget to tune into Hallmark Channel's original movie, North Pole, which oh, premieres so this Saturday, November the 15th at wonderful. 8 Central Time. All right, I'm going to talk with my mouth full, but not for long because Jennifer Addison, uh, Jennifer Adams is up and next. Jennifer. <laughs> I'm